Hi, Sabrina here from Cakes by Sabrina. I got another tutorial for you guys. This is the bow headband. It is very, very cute, very unique. Um, you can wear it pretty much with anything. Um, it's for either, um, this is only for like adult or a large teen size. Um, to make it a child size, you might want to go lower on the hook um, to like a 4.5, maybe a 4 millimeter hook. I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook, which is an eye hook. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. You want to use any type of four ply yarn for this project. I'm using a tamper's needle to sew in my ends and scissors. We are going to basically be using nothing but double crochet in this project. And basically, we're going to start with the slip knot. The way I do mine is I wrap the yarn over my finger twice. I use my two fingers to hold it down and I just take the yarn and wrap it around over my fingers. Then I tuck it from behind and pull it over. I put my hook right in there, grab the yarn with my hook and release. We are going to chain up 60. Wrap the yarn over your hook and pull it right through that loop. That is your first chain. Wrap the yarn over your hook and pull through the loop. That's your second chain. Wrap the yarn over your hook and pull it right through the loop. Third chain. We're going to continue until we have 60 chains. Okay, now that I'm at my 60 change, and there it is, 60 chains, we're going to double crochet in the fourth from the hook. So to find out the fourth from the hook, I'm going to bring this into the light. Here is our first one, which the yarn comes right out of. That's your first chain right there. This is your second chain. This is your third. And this is your fourth and you can actually see it. The sides right here show you your chain. Just like a regular chain when you look on a necklace. So what you want to do is you want to go down to the fourth chain. One, two, three, and fourth where my thumb is at. And I'm going to wrap the yarn over my hook and I'm going to go right into that fourth chain. I'm going to take the yarn again and pull it right through that loop. I'm going to have three on my hook, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Wrap the yarn over my hook and I'm going to move to the next chain over. And I'm going to continue doing double crochets and the rest of the chains. So I'm going to wrap the yarn over my hook like I did. I'm going to go right into that chain, pull my yarn through, Wrap the yarn over my hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn over my hook, and pull through two. That was my second double crochet. Wrap the yarn over my hook, go into this chain, pull through, wrap the yarn over my hook, pull through two, and pull through two. I'm going to show you one more time and I'm going to continue doing mine on my own. Wrap the yarn over my hook go into the chain, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, 
pull through two. Now that we have four double crochets, I'm going to continue doing the rest of the chain with double crochets in each chain. So I'm going to wrap my yarn over and I'm going to go into each of the chains and do a double crochet all the way to the end of our chain. Try not to turn your chain. Keep on working on the same side of the chain. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the end here. I've got about maybe three to four more double crochets to do. Two more to go. One more to go. Get that very last one. Now that you got all your double crochets done, you want to chain up three. One, two and three. We're going to turn our work around now. We're going to double crochet in the same stitch as the chain three is in. So you're going to wrap your yarn around, go into that stitch, pull through, wrap your yarn around, pull through two, and pull through two. These are your stitches right here on top. You see the two strands that are connected over and over again. Those are your stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into every stitch all the way across to the very end with double crochets. So you're just going to wrap your yarn over your hook, go into the stitch, pull through, 
wrap your yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And I'm going to double crochet all the way across and continue all the way to the end with double crochets in every stitch. Okay, this is my last one. I'm going to chain up three. One, two, three. Turn my work around. Double crochet in the same space as the chain three is in, the same stitch. And now I'm going to double crochet again all the way across. We're going to repeat this process until we get to row 6. We did row 1 and this is row 2. We're on row 3. We're going to continue doing double crochets all the way across. At the very end, chain up 3, turn your work around, and then double crochet all the way across again until we get to row 6. I'm going to continue mine all the way till I get to row 6 and come back here with my finished product of row 6. Okay, so I went up to my sixth row. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to fasten off. And I'm going to pull that right through the loop and pull it all the way out. Oh, I thought I fastened off. There we go. And I'm going to pull tight. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the two ends together, fold it in half pretty much, and you're going to sew straight down, all the way down. Sew that up. So to do that, just get some loose thread, not that much, because it's not really that long. I'm going to thread my needle with the yarn. You could crochet it all the way across, but the thing is with that, you're going to have this big old lump there. And when you put it on your head, you don't want to feel that. So I suggest that you use needle and thread, or needle and yarn, and just take each end and sew it all the way across. That way, um, it's not so thick. And you don't get that big old lump. And I'm just going to each of the stitches up the row. Just trying to even it out as much as possible. I'm going to fasten off here. The two ends. This is the end from the headband itself and this is from what we sewed on. I'm going to tie these two ends together on each side. You should have one on each side. Actually two on each side. So I double knot that and I'm double knotting this. That's how I know that my stitches are secure and they won't unravel later. Now I'm just going to cut these ends off. And the other side as well. Now, open it up so you can actually see your stitches. Flatten it up as much as you can. Take that needle and thread that you have left over. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into the second row from each side. So here's, you go on each side, here's one row and here's the next row right here. You're going to take those two rows, you're going to take your needle in the second row from that side, then you're going to bring it across to the second row on the other side, which is right there. See my needle coming through? There's the first row, there's the second row. Same thing with the other side. And we're going to sew bring that all the way over. Now I'm going to release this because I no longer need it. I'm going to tie them together like this. And I'm scrunching those two ends together to give it that bow look. So, double tie these. This string here. I'm going to go with a third one. Just make sure it's secure. Now I'm going to cut the loose ends off. Okay, and so far we're almost done. We're going to grab our yarn again. And that's my loosen. Don't need the loosen. I'm going to make a slip knot. Tuck it over. Bring my hook over. Pull my hook through. Pull loose. And I'm going to chain up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, ten. Now I am going to double crochet in the fourth one from the hook. One, two, three, four. Just like we did before at the beginning. Double crochet right in there. Pull through two, wrap the yarn over, and pull through two. I'm going to double crochet all the way across. In each of the chains.
I'm going to chain up three. One, two, three. Turn my work around. Double crochet in the same place as the chain three at. And then I'm going to double crochet all the way across in each of the stitches. And last one. Chain up three. One, two, three. Turn your work around. Double crochet in the same chain three space. And double crochet all the way across. last one. Okay, now I'm going to fasten off from here. Pull that right through. Bring my work back to the table here. And what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much take this and you're going to fold it right over that part right there where we did our sewing in and we're going to sew this on. So you want to take some yarn again, thread your needle, and I'll do this the opposite way so you can actually see. I'm taking the two ends together and I'm going to sew in each row. So it's going to be double crochet, so you want to put two stitches for each row. So there's two there. Go along to the next row. One, and two, and then the last row again, two. So it's six stitches total. Now I'm going to fasten off here. And just like before, you have a strand, two strands at each end. Tie those two strands together on each side. Same thing with the other side. Cut those off. Cut the other side off. And your project is pretty much done. I'm going to flip this inside out because I did it the opposite way so you guys can see how I sew that in. And there it is. Our beautiful headband. All complete. All done. Very gorgeous. Great for any occasion. Any color you can do. Great. You can even put a flower right in here and switch it up. But this is so adorable. So cute. So easy. Please comment, tell me how yours came out, tell me how my video goes, if it was easy enough for you to follow. Um, until next time, happy crocheting and peace, love and respect to one another and make this world a better place. Bye.